Hey guys, this is Fiesta Philly. Even though I no longer play for All Heart, I wanted to do a preset tutorial for my subscribers since it has been requested a lot. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to talk about preset mapping. This is basically finding and understanding what every part of the preset is for. The preset you see here is what I'm working on for a giveaway for my channel. It will be given away soon, so make sure you subscribe to have a chance at winning it. As you see, I've already shaded and added fur to this one, but what I want you to focus on right now are the lines over the preset. This is called a UV cage or UV lines. The UV lines are going to show us where everything is on the preset and how it should line up. This rainbow looking preset would actually be really ugly, but we aren't using it for looks. This map shows in different colors each part of the preset map. This makes it very easy for us to figure out where everything should go. This is the body of the preset, and we're going to start by learning where each body part is on this preset. This area is the front leg. Towards the end of this leg will obviously be the ankle, which connects to the paw, which I will show you in a moment. Toward the top of this area will be the elbow. This area is the back leg. The back leg is longer than the front leg. The part that wings off is the inside of the back leg, and towards the end of the leg is the leg joint, not the ankle. The ankle is actually elsewhere. This is, well, obviously the butt. There's not much to say about this. This area is the belly of your preset. Remember that this part is going to wrap around to meet the other half of the preset, so make sure each side's colors match or you will have seams. Now this is the back ankle I was talking about earlier. Why they ended up putting the ankle over here, I don't know, but it's here. These are the bottoms of your paws where you'll place your paw pads. The left side is the front paw and the right side is the back paw. And these are the tops of the paws, toes. Again, the left side is the front paw and the right side is the back paw. This is the top of the chest area and the neck area. These places are great to know for neck and chest markings. The closer you move towards the neck, your chest mark, the bigger your chest markings will be. And last but not least is the back area. Remember, the back will connect to the other side of the body, so make sure those colors match. You don't want any ugly seams through your preset. Okay, so we have the body down, now onto the head of the preset. It's pretty scary looking right now, but it'll get better as we add color and fur. This first part is the nose and the top of the muzzle. Remember that the canine's nose will be slightly higher than the feline's nose. This area is the eye socket, not the actual eye itself. It's more to show you where the eyebrow goes. This is the outside of the mouth where the lips will be. Uh, below this is the chin, which will be different for felines and canines. This part is the inside of the ear where ear fluff will go. And this area is the inside of the mouth, and the light blue area is the tongue. This next area is just the forehead. I figured I should probably show it just in case someone's confused by now. And finally, I'm going to show you the back of the ear. This should probably match your forehead color, but that's completely up to you. This part of the map is mainly eyes and teeth. The circle with the yellow in the middle is the eyelid. The yellow long area is another part of the tongue. These pointy triangles are obviously teeth, and the circle with the blue in the middle is the eyeball itself. This is the easiest part of the whole preset, the actual tail. This part is the tip of the tail, where the hair would be on a lion or the end of the tail for the dog. And this part is actually the tail itself, the long part of the tail. And this part is the end of the tail that connects to the body. Thank you.
you guys for watching. Uh, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me. Bye!